Hello you lovely lot, it is Thursday the 11th of January, 6.55 a.m. and you are joining my lovely wife and I on a uh, kids free holiday which it, it, it's, we are really missing them but we are having a really lovely time in a, in a different way, it's very different to what we're used to and I like it about the same, we're getting loads done, you know having a lovely time together. Um, so our trip is seven nights on uh, Port Orleans. To today's our last night here. Then we're off to Tampa to see our friends for a few days and then back to um, All Stars Music, which we've never stayed at and a lot of you lovely lot are saying it's really, really lovely. Um, we're having a magic time, getting tons done. Um, today we are heading off to early hours at Animal Kingdom plan is to go and get on a flight of passage as soon as we can. Um, Narvi River Journey, go and see the bird show. It's going to push me a little bit. Don't like stuff like that flapping too close to me. And actually, Trace, I wouldn't mind going and see the Lion King show as well. Yes, we'll do that. And Nemo show, because for all of you that know, um, Nemo show is one of the greatest shows of all time. Actually, if I'm being honest, I don't like the new variation as much as the old one. However, you know, that's the plan for today and we're going to take you, oh, and then after that, uh, we're going to head over to uh, Disney Springs. Haven't been there very much because we've had a little bit of weather here. Um, and there's a ferry that runs from this resort, Port Orleans Riverside, down to Disney Springs. So we're going to hop on that and then have a late lunch, early dinner there, and then come back to resort and fingers crossed, go and see Yeehaw Bob again for the, uh, for his full show. Um, as always, things may change, so we'll roll with the punches. But we're going to take you lovely lot along with us. Although this seems like pretty crazy getting up super early to go do a theme park, the beds here are so comfortable and the pillows are so lovely. Um, and because we've been going to bed pretty early, we've been waking up at this time anyway, haven't we? Yeah, so it's no, no hardship to get up and get to the park. Bus got in. We got about 25 to 8 and the park opens at 8 for regular guests. So what happens? Yeah, looks like it's going to be a nice morning. Tracy's got pulled on security, but still Christmas here. Yep, still Christmas here. And the Christmas music's going through. Good morning. So early entry is for resort guests uh, um, only, so there'll be a sign up saying early entry, follow the signs. All through, easy peasy, they just scan your magic band. If I'm being honest Trace, I wouldn't hate it if it was Christmas here all the time. <laughs> Especially here, I like, like the, is it pan pipes? Yes. Yeah, I love it. Right, we're heading into Pandora, which is that way. On the right is a restaurant called Tiffin's. We've only eaten there once, but it was really, really fantastic. And just behind that is the Nomad Lounge. Um, it's just like small plates and nice cocktails and drinks. But the great thing is, it's just a really nice place to go and chill out. It is quite expensive, but it is lovely in there. It's really nice. It's just um, similar to like the Street Bridges and um, Geese Point, I think, and it's specialising in small plates and sort of nibbles and things and drinks. But it is lovely, especially the outside bit here where you're just overlooking the water. Yeah, it's really Summer cool. really lovely. And if you've never been to the Pandora, part of Animal Kingdom or any of Animal Kingdom before. It's absolutely breathtaking. It's, I don't think there's anything that can really sort of prepare you for it. It's, it's just incredible. Right, so it's a pretty, pretty big queue. We just spoke to Lady Rings. It's a 50 minute wait from here. Which is weird because normally when you start queuing from where you enter, sometimes it's been like 75 and we've gone in from that point. So I'm thinking maybe they haven't opened it up. Yeah, I think that's it. So the queue is moving pretty quickly. Because this ride does get like quite long wait times, there are toilets about halfway around.
welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. You've all got them. <laughs> but don't worry, uh, they're very common around these parts. You're doing great. And then get onto the link chair the way we showed you in the video. Then put on so your basically, eyes. these open up, and you've got a massive like IMAX style screen. And it's a simulator. That was 70 minutes to get onto the ride. Totally worth it. So worth it. It's so, such a brilliant ride. It's quite long as well. Yeah. I've forgotten how long it was. Yeah, really got, got uh, extra splash this time as well. Yeah. Sometimes, depending on your sitting, there's effects where they, they splash you with water. And sometimes you don't get it at all this time. Every time. <laughs> Full on. And smells and wind blowing in your face. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's a must do. It's brilliant. There's a really big avatar shop. Lots of merch, lots of toys, sweets and snacks. I like the theming in this one. <laughs> um, Navi River Journey is showing a um, 40 minute wait, so we're going to hop on that. Right, 40 minutes going in. Just about to board, that took 20 minutes. big drops and you know nothing extreme how long would you queue for that well we thought it was 40 I'd, I'd happily do 40 45 I think but, yeah but it was it was under that wasn't it yeah 20 and, minutes yeah I think I think it had a bit of a spike because um, the wait time from the uh, flight passage went up and also everest was down so I think everyone was doing that instead but it was coming down as we went to it and I think we caught it at the right time yeah right we're going to the exotic bird show I love the posters up there, it's so cool. My bum's cold. <laughs> this seat's really cold. One plus three. Oh my goodness. Wait, that was so fast. Alright, you know what? How about we just call that one warm up? How about that? Okay, we'll do another one. Okay, let's do another one. What about um seven minus three? Four. <laughs> Kiwi, are you having fun? <laughs> <laughs> that bird is massive. Okay, river storks are pretty incredible birds as well. They're kind of like vultures. Here he goes. <laughs> that worked really well. Ranger! Higher? It was great. Yeah, it was really good, really good fun as well. Yeah, I think when I've seen it in the past, it had like a, an, uh, what's his name? Oh, Doug. Had an, yeah, they did do a little up version of that for a while, but um, yeah, they just restored it to the birds thing, which is probably simpler. Yeah, <laughs> Russell, birds. not Doug. Uh, yeah, the, the people that were hosting it were great, funny, little jokes. Some big birds. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, <laughs> it was a really big bird. Right, we're hoping that we're going to sneak into the 11am show of Lion King, which is just down there. Oh, 
legendary Lion King. Hiya, folks. How you doing? Don't worry, your old buddy Timbo is here. The show can begin. <laughs> Time, I forgot how amazing it is. The amount of talent in that one show is pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, it's so colourful, so uplifting, it's such fun, and the transition from that tumble monkey bit into like the stage, just like really clever. Yeah. Really clever. Really good. Yeah, if you come in, you gotta do it. These two squirrels were having a massive Barney. They've stopped now. Nope, there they go. Never noticed these little guys before. How cool are these guys? The original, but I do like the projections in that one. Yeah, it makes it, um, it brought it up to date a little bit, I guess. The, the, the original had some like old fashioned humour that we really quite enjoyed, but um, yeah, it's still a pretty good show. Yeah, it's still great. You definitely gotta come and see it. 12.45, two big rides, three shows, gotta be happy with that. Really productive. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, still a bit fresh, but we're gonna head back to the resort, have a bit of a chill out, and then head over to Disney Springs. We have had a nice little freshen up back at our room, and uh, now we're off to Disney Springs, and one of the, although this is the first time we're doing it at this resort, and we're checking it out tomorrow, but one of the big draws for staying here for us would, would be the ferry from here to Disney Springs. So we're gonna go and hop on that now. Oh, we've gone different ways, see ya. Um, so we're gonna go and hop on that now and uh, head over to Disney Springs. We just missed the ferry, but I don't mind. We don't know if it's, yeah. But we, because we, we've got all this to admire. <laughs> and the sun is out. And the it's sun's there. out. So beautiful. <laughs> and this is the entrance down to get your ferry. Oh, a party boat, they're pumping tunes out. It's like uh, the boat that rocked. Ooh, ooh.
just like that, we're back at Disney Springs. This is pin trading in here. Pins, um, magic bands, all that sort of stuff. Probably the biggest selection on property, I would have thought. Okay, so this is the co-op. It's got like lots of different sections to it. And this is the pet section. So if you want some Disney merch for your pets, that's pretty cool. Cat basket. And Disney art as well. No, they were like, yeah. We've seen these a few times, but they are super heavy. They're really nice, but they're really heavy. Yeah. I would love them for the house. But... Difficult to get home. Not that difficult. Hand luggage. Yeah. Well, that is cool. The wire, the one that we've got at home, everything falls out the bottom. Yes. But that would collect. Yeah, that's not practical. Oh, I love this. I really like this. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cool. No more mugs. There's no more mugs. There needs to be a breakage before we can replace. They got an Aladdin one of these. Okay. Yeah, it's a genie of the lamb. I, I was waiting for yeah. some <laughs> Don't look at me like that. It's not like a cat rescue place. It's not like a mug with no home. No more mugs. It's very nice. I love this cushion. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? Fifty percent off. Takes up fifty percent of your luggage allowance. That's a that's a bold statement. Did you see someone in the park wearing that the other day? Really? Yeah. What is it? It's a dress. Is it? Yeah. You should you should get that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. It's not my favourite. What do you like about Disney Springs? Well, what I like about it. Yeah. Everything. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Love the music, walking around. Like the garden and foliage. Oh. Nice ornamental stuff. Love it. Yeah, it's lovely. I just want to know what this is. Ooh, that's... That's... What? That's struck. Shirt. Yeah, what do you reckon? Can I pull it off? <laughs> <laughs> Not sure many people pull it off. Strong luck. It's nice and quiet in Springs today. We're going for an early dinner wine bar George. Yeah. Never awesome. eaten there before. No, nope. awesome. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah, I love trying new stuff. Right, I've gone for a non-alcoholic beer. It's actually really good. Trace, how's your Chardonnay? It's really nice. I like open Chardonnay. Yeah. It's really perfect. It's good. Mine's come out. It smells incredible. Hummus looks incredible. Service is lovely. That came out super quick as well. Uh, so I've gone for braised ribs and gr I think that's grits again. I'm loving grits. I'm loving grits. <laughs> Might be one of the best things I've eaten on Disney property. That is absolutely fantastic. How's your hummus? Lovely. Homemade, really nice. So the meat's like super tender, <clears throat> and these grits, I could just run a train on them. That was one of the best things I've ever, ever, ever eaten. That was just 10 times too small. I could have. Or a small plate. So there we go. But that was stunning. Right, we've been lucky to eat at some really, really nice places at Disney. Back in the day when Disney dining plan was included for free. Um, 
So we've eaten at California Grill, Narcoozies. Um, that was the best plate of food I've ever had at Disney, hands down. I tried it, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, we were a little bit thrown when we got in there because the menu is like small plates. We should have studied the menu a little bit. We probably could have done with another small plate because the portions were quite small. It's quite expensive, but I kind of know what it costs to put stuff like that on a plate. And it was, it was just awesome. So we will definitely be back there ordering more food. Yeah, um, I think what they're doing is they're not, they're not a very small menu, but what they're doing, they're doing and executing the menu really well. And it's really good quality. Yeah, I think, um, I can't think of anywhere offering better food on Disney property. That was just unbelievable. That was a lovely little trip out to Disney Sprongs. Right, back to the resort. We had a lovely little chill in the room, haven't we? We have. Been nice. And, um, yeah, we've just had a chill for a couple of hours. And now we're going to head down to, what's the bar called? River Roost. River Roost, because the legend that is Yeehaw Bob is playing tonight. And we want to get down there and bagsy a table and uh, watch the first part of his show. Does two shows, do you think? I don't think he does two shows. It's on from 8.30 to, sorry, I'm sweet in my mouth. It's on from 8.30 to 11. And last time he had a break in the middle and we caught the, sort of most of the last half. Yeah. I don't know if he repeats it or he does different material or the same, we don't know. We're going to go and find out. Okay. And we'll probably have, you know, a couple of light bites down there too. I love how this music's just pumped <laughs> around here. It's lovely. It's great, isn't it? So here's the pool bar on the left. Looks really, really nice in there. We've not, <laughs> we're going to have to come back here. They got the patio heaters out. They look fierce. Yeah, it looks cool. We've bagsied a table. I'm very happy that we're here. Our server's lovely. I love this resort so much. Sorry? I love this resort so it's much. Brilliant. I feel like connected to it. Yeah, I think we should definitely need to come back when we can enjoy it a little bit more in the more sunnier weather. I want the kids to come here so bad. <laughs> yeah. Right, Tracy's ordered a Chardonnay and I've gone for a mocktail which is an agave garden. Um, yeah, it's lovely. What did you go for? Spinach dip and a uh, piece of bread and you've got... I've got um, wings and fries. Smells amazing. Right, Yeehaw Bob is at the bar. You can feel the anticipation, can't you? And when he walked in, like, he cheered, everyone cheered. So, uh, yeah, really excited. Oh, the food was great. How was your food? Really good. Yeah, mine was too. We've eaten a lot of pizza bread today. Yeah. <laughs> Highlight of the holiday, Yeehaw Bob just came and had a chat. He is going around every table and having a chat with everyone in here. What an old school legend. I love it. I love him. <laughs> didn't finish yesterday's vlog because I kind of thought as we're checking out today sad times um, you know we'd tag this on to the rest of the day so it's coming up for about nine o'clock been out for a run Jokifo. ripping my bag for life from Tesco's because I've only gone and done some laundry I'm doing that thing again where I pack all my clothes <laughs> and only wear my favorite ones and then wash them so I've got a lot of clothes in my suitcase <laughs> feeling a bit unloved so right next door to our block is another block and it's got a swimming pool and there are a few of these dotted around. I mean, look, I know they're not, the sun's not out and it's been a bit rainy, but it's quite warm this morning. So we've got these little pools here. So if you wanted something a bit quieter with like less slides and splash zones and it's more of a grown up pool if you just wanted to come and top up your tan and uh, the laundry is just over there. How lovely is this? <clears throat> so, 
I've already got my wash in at the moment. It's like doing laundry in the future. It was a bit complicated. Get your detergent out the machine, tap your card. It's a dollar. I mucked it up, paid two dollars, got two, <laughs> two lots of washing powder. And then you have to like touch your phone on the washing machine and it does its business. Listen, if I can do it, <laughs> You can do it, no lie. I learned how to copy and paste on my phone. But 18 months ago, changed my life. Do you need to tap your van to get in? I've made friends with a lady that works here. She's singing and she's lovely. So this is the laundry room. If you're bored, need a snack, you get it in there. And there's all the detergent. And this is my laundry. Woohoo. Now we've got to figure out the dryers. Right, so it's like, it's, it's one of these jobs. Make sure that you, this middle bit here controls the top and the bottom. So when you're paying it, it says which one you want to pay for the top and the bottom. That's going to take 60 minutes. That was $3.25. Super clean in here, smells lovely. Yeah, easy peasy. Right. Laundry all done. All in all, that took do, 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 about 90 minutes. Good job. Um, yeah, it's really weird doing it on your phone. Uh, um, we're all packed up and we are now off to do, do Tampa for the weekend with my friend. I don't know what's going on with my hair. It's very weird. Um, we had a fantastic night last night with Yeehaw Bob. Such fun, so interactive. It's not for the faint hearted, if you don't want to get up and get involved, I would say maybe stand far away at the back or just look from the side or don't do it because he really wants everyone, virtually every song, doing something, standing up, clapping, singing along. He had people running around <laughs> at one point, which I think we probably got, maybe got on footage, I don't know. But it was just hilarious. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, and we so ate in there. The food was great. Yeah, it was really nice. Service was great. Um, that really is, like, a, I think that might be, I really like Hoop to Do Review, but that is right up there with one of my, I think you could class that kind of as a dinner show because we got there a little bit earlier. We bagsied a table. Um, <laughs> Tracy just had an artich artichoke dip and I had some wings and they were all really really good um, yeah absolutely loved it um, so we are leaving um, Port Orleans what do you think of the room? I loved it I yeah think it was great the sizing uh, the layout is like most of the, of, of the rooms um, at Disney but um, I think it's slightly bigger so slightly wider than the rooms yeah. so we have plenty of space, space. Plenty of space, plenty of storage, lots of hooks and shelves and nooks and crannies where you can put things. Yeah, I think it's a great room. Yeah, and as a resort, what do you think? Lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, it's a shame the weather's been against us a little bit that we couldn't enjoy some of the outside spaces a little bit more, maybe sitting at the pool bar or sort of outside at, you know, boat rides and what have you in that sort of area. Um, but I would definitely want to come back and, and do it in better weather so that we can yeah I think for me this resort is an absolute it's close to perfect a little bit of noise from outside um, other than that absolutely loved it and I think had we have not stumbled across the reason we didn't do resorts like this in the past is because the the resorts at Old Key West with the extra sleeper bed work really really well for us especially as the kids were getting older um, so there would have been a limit to you know how how these rooms would have worked for us going forward just with having like the double beds you know luke and i would have bunked in there and tracy and daisy would have bunked in there yeah. but space wise because they get older <laughs> they bring more stuff with them they take up more space i think four adults in this room for any length of time is going to be a little bit of a push yeah but as within as with any as yeah with any room like this. but as a resort the um the quick serve is epic the, um, the the restaurant boat rights one of the best meals I've had and um, yeah they just I love it I, I think it's a really good mix between Saratoga Springs and Old Key West um, location is great the buses have been phenomenal some of the best transport 
<coughs> excuse me, some of the best transport we've experienced. That, hey. may, that may be a little bit more down to the fact that it is sort of more off season, it's quieter generally, um, and the weather may be, but buses have been great. They have been great. Right, we are packing up and we're off to see my friend Michelle and her other half, Scott, for the weekend, and I think we're going to St. Pete's. So we won't be vlogging because she doesn't know we do this, that'd be so weird. <laughs> yeah, um, so the next time we'll, we see you, we'll be on our way to. Do, 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 all, All Stars Music. music. Um, so thanks so much for following along. Um, if you have enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers, ears. Mm -hmm.